Well, obviously, the election is over, so what are the chances now that Congress will pass another stimulus bill? In the weeks leading up to the election, no one seemed willing to compromise, but we're now two weeks removed from the election. Tonight, WBZ's political analyst John Keller takes a look at where we stand now. Well, what I'm going to do here in the Senate is concentrate on the business that we have left to do. Maybe another coronavirus package. Maybe? That's right. Despite a list of pandemic economic casualties that's growing even longer than these lines at a Texas food bank, Washington appears no closer to a deal on new stimulus aid now than they were before Election Day. Democrats are insisting on help for states and cities that are bleeding red ink. We cannot leave out key territories, state and local government. Uh, you know, we have to make sure that this is a package that will deliver the aid where we need it. Republicans want to shield businesses from COVID-related lawsuits. I am not going to vote for a bill that includes a lot of uh, uh, Pelosi spending or policy porn. I'm not going to do it, and I don't think most Republicans will. And if they don't find a compromise, at year's end, several streams of unemployment aid will expire, along with the national eviction moratorium, forbearance from student loan payments, and small business debt relief, among other items. And D.C. sources tell WBZ News the deadlock won't break until President Trump indicates what, if any, stimulus deal he would sign. The idea the president is still playing golf and not doing anything about it is, is beyond my comprehension. You'd at least think he'd want to go off on a, on a positive note. But what is he doing? Let's bring in John Keller now. We know what the president's been doing. He's been on Twitter basically trying to change the results of the election, not really talking about the stimulus right now. Uh, tell us what you think, John, as far as is there any chance that the White House reengages on this topic before Biden even takes office? Doesn't look that way right now, David, but keep in mind this whole thing got turned into a political football, what should have been a bipartisan rescue mission before the election, and it's still caught up in that. My best guess is that, uh, you know, you have these two Senate seats up for re-election, two Republican senators in Georgia. January 5th, they'll be voting. Uh, it, that race has already been nationalized with a lot of focus on the coronavirus. Georgia has been hard hit. Uh, I think it's possible that uh, Mitch McConnell and company may decide, hey, we need to let these two Republicans take a popular vote before Election Day and something might pop out. But that's a big maybe, David. They just continue to put politics over people down in Washington. Quite a spectacle. It's no wonder why people have such ill feelings toward the people in Washington when there are people and businesses struggling so mightily right now and they're not doing anything to help them. John Keller, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Paul